Hey guys, welcome back to Buck's Garage. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed, I really appreciate you doing that and your support of the channel. Um, you probably noticed that I haven't up uploaded a video in quite a while. Uh, wasn't really my intent to do that. I uh, wanted to have some more frequent stuff for you guys, uh, but thought I'd explain a little bit. Um, you know, I've got excuses for everything, of course, like everybody. Um, my real job has changed a little bit in the recent past, so that's taken some more time. Um, you know, summer is always busy for everybody. Uh, big thing is, uh, you know, it gets stupid hot where I live, and so I don't really like going out to the garage when it's plus 100 degrees out here and working. Um, so that's kind of part of it. Um, you know, excuses are great, everybody's got them. Um, kind of the, the big reason is I suffered a recent uh, personal loss. Um, my brother recently passed away from cancer a couple months ago. Um, you know, it was, uh, it was a big loss. Um, I won't go into a whole lot of detail. I mean, there's a lot to say about him. He was a really good guy, um, really good brother to me. Um, you know, um, he was a huge supporter of me doing this channel in the first place. Um, I'd show him videos before they'd ever get uploaded here and get his feedback on it. Um, he was always up for any car adventures with me. Um, just, uh, just a solid dude. Um, I won't go into a whole lot of stuff here, but I just want to tell you all this to say, um, you know, uh, he was only 36 years old. So, um, you know, we don't have, we don't, aren't guaranteed time um, on this planet. So, uh, just wanted to say, you know, um, be good to those that love you and are around you. Um, you know, take advantage of your time you're here because you don't know when it'll be over. And um, if you're a dude, um, my brother's original cancer was testicular cancer, so um, get yourself checked out, you know, if there's anything going on. Um, he caught his early about seven years ago, and it's been a process ever since then, and everything was done possible to try to save his life, and it just wasn't in the cards. Um, but early prevention can never help, so uh, if you're due, get checked out. Um, so as far as channel goes, I'm going to try to get back to a more regular schedule here. Thanks for bearing with me. If you made it this long, thanks for listening. I uh, really appreciate you guys, and uh, let's get back to some uh, some car action. All right, so as we all know, this channel is about old German junk, uh, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. I got something else for you this time. Um, thing about owning old German junk is that a lot of times you're gonna get left on the side of the road. Uh, I've been pretty lucky with that, it hasn't happened too often, but uh, that BMWs that I started the series with, um, that has left me on the side of the road two or three times now. Um, so, uh, important part of that is you gotta have a vehicle to go retrieve your vehicle with, or you gotta call a tow truck, and I don't like doing that. So, um, I like borrowing a flatbed trailer and going to get it in my own pickup truck. So, um, today, the video is gonna be about my truck, that I've owned for about 11 years now. Um, it's, got, it's kind of an interesting truck, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it, and then I'm gonna show you some recent work that I did to it, and uh, so let's get into it. All right, so this truck is a little bit of a unicorn of a truck. It's a 2006 Dodge Ram 2500 with the 5.9 liter Cummins diesel. Um, interesting thing about this truck is it was only available in this configuration for one model year and uh, that was 2006. Um, it has the old 5.9 liter Cummins engine, but it also has the mega cab configuration, which was brand new for 06, and then that 5.9 Cummins was replaced with a different one in 2007, halfway through 20, 2007. So uh, for only a year and a half could you get a mega cab truck with the old 5.9 Cummins, um, and added on to that, mine is also a six-speed manual. So um, needless to say, this is a hard truck to come by. It took me six to eight months to find this thing 11 years ago. And uh, I've got standing orders from like five different people that if I ever want to sell it, they want to buy it because they are hard to find. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of cool features about this truck. And then, um, you know, I've had it for 11 years. So it's getting a little long in the tooth in some areas, you know. Um, unfortunately, it's been pushed out of the garage by some of this German crap. So, um, you know, it needs a little bit of love, it needs a little bit of attention, so that's kind of what this video is about. So we're going to do some fun stuff to it uh, after I show you a little few things about it, and then we'll uh, kind of do a new reveal. Alright, so like I said, um, first cool thing about this is it is the Mega Cab, so you get this extra cab on the back here. 
And look at all the space in the back of this thing. You can have a large size adult sit in the back here and have plenty of leg room. Um, other nice thing is that this seat folds down and you've got some room back here. So I've got a 12 inch subwoofer over there that I put in. And then you've got storage bins down here that you can put stuff in, uh, toe straps, stuff like that. And then you can put bags and stuff behind the seat too. And then one feature my Golden Retriever really appreciates is the whole thing will come down and give you a whole flat floor here. So we put a dog bed back here and she's ridden back here for hours on long road trips and just has a great time with it. And then you still got a seat over there too if you want it. So, um, back in 2006, you could get a mega cab or you could get a quad cab, and this beats the heck out of the quad cab. All right, up here, the cool thing about it is the six speed manual transmission. Uh, this thing is a bear to drive in traffic, but uh, when you're towing something or when you're on a decent trip or something like that, the six speed is really nice to have. It's a, it drives a lot better than some of the old automatics that came back in this day. Um, I did go ahead and change out the stereo on this thing. So I've got an Android tablet running a, a, a jailbroke um, kind of program that acts as my head unit. So I've got an equalizer down here to run um, my amplifiers for that. I've got amps underneath the, the front seats um, mounted down here. Can you see that or not? Um, so I've done a couple of things to it. You know, I got rid of the wood trim on it, um, mostly kind of stereo stuff. Uh, may do some seats in it in the future. Um, the fourth gen Dodge seats will fit in this truck that's a third gen. So I may do some uh, leather seats out of a fourth gen at some point because they're a little more comfortable, look a little nicer. Uh, but for now, you know, it works for what it is. Um, you know, it's a little dirty right now. It's, it, it gets used for work, it's used for taking the boat to the lake and uh, hauling cars around that aren't working right. So, uh... so up front is that legendary 5.9 Cummins inline six. Um, I've done a couple of things here. I've got this cool boost tube that I put on and then um, the previous owner did a straight pipe exhaust all the way back. It's about a four inch. I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, there's no cats, there's no mufflers, there's no nothing. It's just uh, straight from that turbo all the way to the back. Um, and that is kind of the reason that people want this 5.9 Cummins. So in 2007, when the new Cummins engine came out, there was new emission standards for diesels. And so you have DPF filters, you got EGR coolers, all that kind of stuff. And on this truck, you don't have to have any of that. So this passes emissions even with that straight pipe exhaust, and it gets a lot better fuel mileage, um, it's easier to tune, all that sort of stuff. So people really like this old engine for that reason. Um, you know, there's no DEF fluid, no DPF filters to clog, all that kind of junk. Um, and you get the mega cab in this truck and the six speed manual. So um, I have do have a tuner on this truck. Um, I've got the Smarty Junior running on this thing. Um, gave it another 70 horsepower, I think. I can turn it up to 100, but I run it to 70. And um, this truck has 185,000 miles on it. So when I put that tuner on it, it immediately smoked the stock clutch that was on its way out anyway. So it does have a South Bend clutch in it. So uh, if you're interested in my experience with that, um, hit me up in the comments. Um, I got kind of their street version. Um, I think it's a single disc and it drives just as nice as the stock one, but it holds all the extra power and tows a lot better. So I definitely recommend them. Um, but um, what this video is about is um, it's time to give some love to this thing, make it look a little bit nicer. So um, I'm going to de-chrome this truck and kind of bring up the looks up to date for current time and uh, just kind of take care of some stuff that's been kind of degrading over time and needs some help. So as you can see, uh, this truck is a little bit dated in this look. It is from 2006, so there was a lot of chrome back then. We've got a chrome grill on the front, a chrome bumper insert down that Laramie bumper. We've got chrome badging on the side, uh, chrome side steps. We've got a chrome uh, back bumper, more badging on the back. Uh, chrome 20 inch wheels. Uh, these wheels were never intended to be on there for too long. I just needed something to get me by and found these for like 200 bucks on Craigslist. So I polished them up with some steel wool, threw them on there. And uh, they've been working fine, but uh, I've had this truck for a while, so I'm ready to uh, get the look updated a little bit, get it looking a little bit nicer. I'm really happy with the way it performs, so no reason to upgrade trucks and spend a bunch of money. We'll just make this little one look nicer and bring the look up to date and uh, be happy with it for another 10 years.
All right, so in this part of the process, the truck is pretty well all the way stripped down, except for the grill here. I'm gonna wait to do that until I get the other one painted. But we've got the chrome piece off the front bumper. Grill will be going. I'm gonna work on these headlights a little bit. Uh, chrome wheels are gone. Chrome badging is gone. Chrome side steps are gone. Got all the chrome badging taken off the back, polished up there. Chrome wheels on this side gone. And we've got our wheel missing over here and our badging is gone. So we are pretty well de-chromed aside from that grill that's going next. And uh, so now it's time to uh, start putting some stuff back on here. So we're gonna get started with some new wheels and tires. So here's a quick specs on these wheels. Uh, these wheels are a 10 inch wide by 20 inch wheel. They are fuel, I forget the brand name. I got these off a friend of mine, um, so I don't have a whole lot of details. But the offset is an ET negative 18 on these. And I've got them uh, set up with some Nitto Ridge Grapplers and a 35 by 12, five by 20. Uh, these are really great tires, uh, good off-road and on-road. Tread lasts a lot longer than most mud tires. So um, they're pretty quiet. I really like them a lot. Um, looking good on these new wheels, so let's get these things on the truck and see what it looks like. So uh, next step to de-chroming the uh, 06 Dodge Ram is going to be a new grill for the front. Uh, the one that I have on there is pretty chipped up, uh, chrome's flaking a little bit, um, and it's chrome, so we gotta get rid of it. So um, I found this mesh uh, dude on eBay, and I already took the mesh out of the middle of it, um, but I am working on sanding this down because I wanna uh, paint match this to the body color. So as you can see, it comes in a shiny black plastic. Uh, that would look fine if you wanted to keep it black, but I want to have it match the body color, so I need to sand it down. So I've got the bottom part done here. Basically what you're just trying to do is just make sure there's no more shiny surface on there, make sure it's good and scuffed up. I think you can see that. Um, as compared to like the shiny part up here, because the paint's not gonna stick very well to that. So, got the bottom pretty well done. It's already working up the sides a little bit, but I'm gonna keep going on that. Um, and there's nothing, the only thing worse than doing sanding is watching somebody sand, so I'm not gonna make you watch that. But uh, I'll check back in once that's all sanded off and we're ready for paint. Okay, the sanding is all done on this thing, at least as much as I wanna do. I think we're in good shape. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's all scuffed up now. Not quite uniform looking, but uh, it feels good, so. I started with a 60 grit, uh, or I think that's like a 600. Um, just roughed it up real good with that. It left it pretty rough. Um, so then I went with a 180, and then I finished it with a 320. So it's pretty smooth now. Um, looks nice and rough, but it's pretty smooth. Uh, should be ready for primer. So I've got this um, body match kit here that should match my mineral gray on the truck. So we got primer, uh, base coat, and clear. So, uh, it is, uh, it's unfortunately way too hot out here to paint right now. Uh, they want it between like 70 and 85. It's, uh, it's pushing 100 degrees in this garage. So, um, 
we are gonna wait until tomorrow morning and we'll get some paint on this thing and uh, then get it reassembled and get it on the truck. Painting is all done. We've got uh, two or three coats of primer on there. We've got three coats of base coat, and we've got five coats of clear coat on there. And my entire garage is covered in clear coat crap now. So uh, here's a finished product. As you can see, it's going to need a pretty serious cut and buff. There's some pretty good orange peel on there, which is why I went a little crazy with the uh, clear coat. Decided to use the whole can since I used the other cans and that should give me plenty of uh, clear coat to cut into a little bit and polish up and hopefully get a nice shine out of that. So we will get the uh, middle piece put back in and get it on the truck and see how it looks. it up for the truck for now um, as you can see it's not completely finished um, I've still got that piece along the front where that chrome used to be on the front bumper I'm missing a back bumper I got to figure out what I'm gonna do there and those headlights are pretty rough I'm probably gonna replace those with an aftermarket set uh, but uh, stay tuned on that we'll figure something out probably just post that on Instagram or something uh, but other than that you know the truck looks better than it did um, it's always run amazing no, never had an issue with the way it runs it tows or anything I put behind it and uh, you know it's big comfortable nice for road trips and all that um, so that's going to wrap it up for the truck um, stay tuned to the channel for some more Germ German junk that we're going to get back to next week I actually have something new to show you guys as far as the old German junk goes so uh, you're going to want to make sure to see that uh, but for now thanks for watching and we'll see you next time